last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. That, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again? Symptomatic. Your analysis symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave yeah, me the word. Like I just kept using it better. Effort. While we have a breather here, you and I were talking off air about the blue chip quarterbacks oh, remaining in the NFL see. playoffs. You got Brady, oh, no, 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 no. Rodgers, Matt Ryan, the only one of those without a ring. How about that? And that's a heck of a collection. You got one without a ring, likely to be yeah. the 2016 MVP of the NFL. So blue chip indeed. And Brady, four rings, Roethlisberger, two, Rodgers, one. We'll see. Can Ryan get that first? Oh, there we go. Now, extra defensive thing. back in there on third and two. And Here's Ryan, and finding the tight end Hooper, and he will have a first down here in the back of the fourth. They have to give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll learn him a fresh set of downs. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there, and how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, oh, when, he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? But they decide to air it out a little bit on that play, take a shot downfield, but the coverage was really nice. Able to get a hand in and tip it away. Hello. No biggest play. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and ten. Again on second and ten. It's Ryan. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And it's third down. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Again, Ryan. Sanu with a grab over the middle. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet. Get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. But, boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Well, we know he's got the speed there. He needed the speed and the hands. A great catch. Ryan hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or move. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off here by Anthony Hitchens. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. 11 yards for number 11. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you're going to lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. Flush to his right. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Prescott looks to throw on first. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. And now we're circling here around the two-minute warning. This is a setup play. Trying to get one last one in before the clock warning. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. 
It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. To throw is Prescott, being chased out left. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. He's going to let this one go deep. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. Des Bryant, 45 yards. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. <laughs> that was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Now the Falcons' offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And with three interceptions thrown already, we'll see. Do they, do they rely more on the ground game here? They may have to change things offensively to try and settle things down, not just for the guy throwing the ball, but for the rest of the offensive unit because his confidence has to be shaken a little bit. And you just wonder... Mm -hmm. Is the backup going to start to warm up a little bit over on the sideline? Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. 26 yards on the pick up there. And it'll give the Falcons a first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Ryan. I didn't even do a blitz. That's so funny. Touchdown, Falcons! Julio Jones, okay. 51 yards. Good. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. And he's able to put it through. Now after the touchdown, it's Bosher to kick it away. Thank That'll you. be taken in the end zone. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. And this is going to be incomplete. Jason Witten, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. They got That's pressure good. there and only rushing no three. Me. And there's a defensive coordinator right now who is celebrating not just getting home with three there, but realizing if that's the type of pressure he can get in the entire game, then his pass defense is going to be excellent. You drop an eight, where are you going to go with the football? And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks He's like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it, it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf. Where well, the he kids is up there with the veteran quarterback. Prescott. You're lagging like a mom. Polluting the pressure right. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of his first it, half of play. Yeah, Welcome doing? back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead. And we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Falcons grab it. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. Crack. 